What's up, YouTubers? The Polish Piper and Nick here. You know, I'm going to get straight to the point. I had a shitty start to the morning. Now, I'm getting, I'm going to work. I go fuel up, and I'm, and I'm, and I know I'm going to run late. And what really sent me off this morning? My key got stuck in the ignition. So I can shut my car off, but I can't take the key out. So I've had this problem before. I got it fixed. Now it's happening again. And I don't want to go to the Jeep dealer. I have a Jeep Wrangler. And I don't want to go to the Jeep dealer and pay hundreds of dollars. So I fear I go to my uh, mom and pop shop. Maybe they can get that fixed. But anyway, so I work in a, in a town that, you know, is near Newark. I don't want to mention the town I work in, you know, just because I work for a healthcare ambulance industry. So, it's like, so like I have to cover my keys with like a freaking potato chip bag. And like, I'm screwed if like a hungry crackhead walks by my car in the parking lot and say, oh man. Look at it. look at them chips, look at them chips. They break in, think there's chips in there, and lo and behold, a free car ride they get. So, not going to mention where I work, just for that reason now. But anyways, and so I get to work, and the, as soon as I walk into my dispatcher's office and get my truck keys, Mr. Nick. You need to hand in your availability for the holidays. I'm like, this is 7.15 in the morning. I'm like, come on. Like, I'm, I'm required to work one uh, holiday, certain holidays during the year. Like, one summer holiday, one winter holiday, and stuff like that. So... I unfortunately have to work either Christmas Day or New Year's Day, but whatever. I'm not gonna get let get. I'm not gonna let that shit get me down, man. I think I packed it too tight. But anyways, I'm gonna tell you two stories, two more morbid stories. Um, oh, the housekeeping, Mario Grande Poker, and some Dunhill Nightcap. And the Sam Adams Oktoberfest, because I really need this right now. Cheers to the pipe smokers and the harder workers out there. So, I remember one time, uh, I was, I went, I already had picked up one body previously in one night, and I get the call to go to the hospital uh, to go pick up a, a Jane Doe from the morgue and bring it to the other morgue, the cadaver lab. So um, I pick up this dead lady. I pick her, I, I have to open up the body bags inside the original hospital morgue and look for the toe tag and make sure it's the right body because I'll be screwed if I bring the wrong body. So I find Jane Doe, and I get her in the van and everything, and I chit-chat with another uh, body mover. <laughs> and so I'm on my way, and I am going into Newark, which is where a popular hospital is. I'm not going to mention names. So let me cut, all right, let me cut to the chase, because I bullshit a lot. Um... Uh, so I'm cutting through a town, the town of Cranford, and it, this is at night. And usually in, in the body van that, that I drive, we usually have a red light, like a red police light stuck on the dashboard. So if we have to approach a scene, you know, I can be let through or I can go through red, tra red traffic lights and stuff like that. But this time I didn't have it on. Uh, I didn't have it in the van because it was broken into at the funeral home. And somebody took the GPS and the red light out of it. So what I did is I pulled up to the red light at night in Cranford. So I'm like, damn, screwed. I don't have the light on. So I'm like, you know what? I do it cautiously. I look right. 
no cars coming. Look left, no cars coming. And then as soon as I make a left turn, right as I make that left turn, Cranford police right there, hidden in the dark with their lights off. I'm like, oh, I am screwed right now. So I know he's going to pull me over, and I see him in my rear view. He's, he's coming behind me with his lights on, and I've got two dead bodies in the back of the van. And the minivan is tinted all around, except for uh, the driver and passenger side. And so this cop is, a, is walking by the van with his big flashlight, looking in, and you can clearly make out two long objects. And he comes up to my window before he even says anything. I have my license, the vehicle registration, and they tell him, all right, I'm going to meet Chief so-and-so uh, at the morgue in Newark. Not going to mention the hospital name. Figure that out for yourselves. Um, sorry. All right. So before he even speaks, I tell him where I'm going. I'm going to meet Chief blah, blah, blah at the morgue in Newark and I have two dead bodies in the back that I need to bring as soon as possible to the morgue and um, I'm like here here's paperwork and I actually show him paperwork and the cops like this all right have a good night and got out of a ticket didn't give me a warning or anything I mean I'm, I think I had my medical examiner's badge on on me but I can't remember so that was pretty cool I was thinking about it always makes me laugh so I got the hook bring the bodies over there drop them off in the cadaver lab in the morgue and the second story shit I, I just I just had a brain fart and forgot the second story oh man It'll come to me, it'll come to me. Maybe I need a sip of beer to help me. I just, I have a bunch of them. Oh, man. Shoot. This sucks. Alright, this tobacco is dry. You think this is boring? Tell me to hurry my Polish ass up. <clears throat> okay, all right. I f the second star I forgot, but I, I have another one. We go to um, a train station in Rawway, and we go. It's not ground level; it's above. So we go up there, and I'm like, "Oh God, there's a dead guy in the tracks." So when we get up there, I see off in the distance, down on the tracks. A, uh, a yellow uh, tarp. I'm like, oh, great. We hop off the platform, which is like, just probably like seven, eight feet down. You have to hop down onto the tracks. We're walking along the tracks, and there is this guy who obviously committed, wanted to commit suicide and succeeded. He had like five layers of clothing on. Like, he was gonna, like, he thought the, you know, the clothes were gonna absorb the impact, but not going to mention race, color, creed, whatever, you know, names, because I like to keep it confidential. I'm not a scumbag. And this guy was, like, messed up. He, when he, where he got hit by the train off the platform, he flew and got dragged. So he was almost severed, like, right here at the, uh, by the, at the naval line. Almost severed. He was basically hanging on by his spine. So my job there is to pick up all the uh, <laughs> all the meat, all the in intestine casings, you know, scoop it up, put it back inside him, wrap him up in a bag, and and his face is like all twisted and everything. Um, I hope I won't get in trouble for saying this. I mean, I'm not mentioning uh, specifics, but anyway. So we get him in the bag, we're carrying him on the tracks all the way back down to the platform. 
And the bitchin' part was, oh, he was leaky too. There's blood everywhere. So we have to hoist him up above head and shove him onto the platform and then bring him down a million steps and you see like these firefighters like like with the gloves and they have to roll up their their pretty you know um, fire gear pants and hose off where the backsplash was pretty funny So yeah, that's that's one of the memorable stories. Um, it's it's it, what's, what's funny about it is that he wore like five layers of clothing, like I said before, thinking he would absorb the impact. But you know, I have a pretty morbid sense of humor, don't I? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, nothing really else going on today. So I have the day off tomorrow. So hopefully I can get my key out of that freaking ignition. Maybe I can get new brakes. Oh man. Oh, not much. It's just it's just been a stressful day, but whatever. I uh, just want to say thank you to um, two thank yous to uh, Stogie Farts and to Smoking SC Seven Eight Eight Seven. They both gave uh, video shoutouts to me and. Due to those shout outs, I got more subscribers, more comments to my videos. So thank you. Thank you very much, Stogie Farts and Smoking SC7887. I have another video of mine, so I'm probably going to do it tomorrow morning. And uh, Stogie Farts, you might get a kick out of it tomorrow. So uh, I'm just going to bid you all a, uh, you know, adieu. So. So, watch my videos, comment on this one, whether you hate it, you like it, you love it, don't give a shit, or anything like that. Part of my vulgar language, I have a shit day, so. Oh well, good night everybody.